For Nigeria equities market, uh, looking at what happened yesterday, we see that uh, the market depreciated by 0.05% yesterday. And of course, uh, that is also uh, coming from the back of predictions and analysis by uh, the uh, investors. Uh, Nigeria's equities market continued its journey into the negative region as investors cautiously approached the local boards ahead of the outcome of Monetary Policy Committee meeting. And the Nigerian Exchange Limited All Share Index and its equities markets capitalization depreciated further on Monday, March 20, by about 0.05% from preceding days, 54,915.39 points and 29.916 uh, trillion naira, respectively, to 54,886.04 points and 29.89 trillion naira. The year-to-date return settled at 6.37%, while market breadth closed negative as Access Corp uh, led 19 gainers and 14 losers, topped by Ikeja Hotel. Well, let's analyze this now as Ambrose Amodio, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consultant Limited, joins us virtually. Good morning and thank you for joining us. We see the market in a bearish move, closing uh, with a reduction of 0.05% yesterday. What would you attribute this continuous downward trend to? We saw the downward trend last week too. Would you attribute it to the elections or is it as a result of the ongoing uh, MPC meeting, which has, of course, raised some uncertainties in some quarters? Yeah, actually, I would say, like uh, I showed the uh, front yesterday on the program, market is being uh, driven by three major factors. And then one of them is profit taking. As you just said, the market has been um, in a bearish mode. Profit taking is part of it. And at the same time, quite adjustment for dividend and for the bonus amount in this period. And at the same time, you know, expectation of uh, the ongoing equity, the outcome of the meeting has kept the market in this direction. People have seen uh, the history of uh, you know, election out there that the Nigerian market has kind of uh, defied you no know, apathetic election. Uh, all we're looking at, as far as the election is gradually you know, being a thing of a part, the season of election is also uh, moving behind us. I think the market will find its direction from now, especially as far as the outcome of this uh, coming uh, uh, ongoing uh, MPC. And at the same time, more results are going to hit the market. Yesterday, we saw you know, the notifying the market that uh, they've done their AGM. They've approved their banner uh, or their data account and also dividend. More of it has happened you know, within this period. Uh, I believe that this week and the last trading week of the month of, uh, of, uh, of uh, March, which is the, the last uh, month of the quarter, we expect that as we enter the last trading uh, week of this quarter, uh, of this quarter, we expect the market also to move up. Now that the election has come and gone, we believe that opportunity is a good thing for any democracy and any economy to strike. Now mm. that yes, we have the event elect waiting, also we have done the governorship election, then I believe that once all is concluded, market to find it that because policy statement and policy shifts to what the value market is doing. That is why all eyes are on this uh, ongoing uh, MPC meeting. We believe that this will be the, you no, know, okay, this one will be the second to the last MPC meeting for this uh, you know, administration that's all known that's on. That means the last one will come in that month of May as a handover of period. We believe that we expect to see the outcome of MPC but with all macroeconomic, uh, you know, variable we are seeing, we are seeing that the, the time for the committee to also slow down and look at what is the impact of their consistent rate hike from the month of May, the, the last one they had in, in January, what has the impact been on the, you know, on the economy? All the name of uh, trying to check with uh, inflation, as if this uh, rebate has almost a uh, solar basic point, you know, impacted on inflation, as if it is inflation pressure. So I think this is how they want to be. And now that yes, the mention that we said uh, election spending has come and gone, that is one. And at the same time, okay, you have done a cash, you know, uh, a, a, a swap of cash uh, redesign, you able to you know, cut some of the trillions away from the you know, on farm market to the, the, the bank, the on bank to the bank, to the school. Then what is your next strategy going forward? Because we have said that the impact of uh, the policy has slowed down economic activities. Coach people don't like. We have seen that the the hotel manager for the month of February, which I will say, has entered contraction already because it's below 50 to the 4.7. That's giving a sign that yes, 
the economy is dragging speed. We are struggling. And at the same time, it's crucial for the month of February. Till last week, we saw that it was you know, initial. Yes, it was not more compared to what we saw in the month of February, that they moved from you know, 22.31 to 21.62. So it's from uh, 22 to 21.91. Yes, this is time for to see if it is time for um deficit to leave rate you know, on change so that we can see so you uh, are monitoring what's happening between now and the next deficit that will come with the mass for this admission in the month of May to see what will happen. I think that will be about if they want to go by the trend we are seeing in the mature economy, that's why the inflation over there has has going down. We have seen that the initial density that uh, the initial uh, that came from, from the ECB uh, so that the high rates that the ECB is and there's ongoing meeting again today which, uh, for Fed meeting that started today, today, tomorrow. And we have seen that uh, there have been kind of uh, you know, parking failure nightmare in the market economy. And because of what this uh, right, uh, this uh, rate hike, we have uh, you know, our own MPC here going to do and also give Nadia the state of our bank so that we will not be you know, entering the same. Uh, Solution will solve all these market suffering because of the impact of no rate hike for this period. I think we got the same market looking for that will give the market a better direction. But for me, for those that are income investors, you know why we are the market. If people in the market are different in getting the best objective. If you are there to for income investor, you are a buy and hold strategy investor. Hold your position, take your dividend, and see what to follow after what after the no incoming uh, government take seat and also carrying out their work, their plans and their strategies and also their policies that will do. For me, there's no cause for that, but I think that once you get it right, I'm able to transit um, as a peacefully, and also even though there is a court case, and at the end of the day, the court case will make things easier, that will start attracting the world's foreign peaceful. And when foreign will start coming to Nigeria, because we believe that there will be change in economic manager, you know, policy that will attract foreign investors. So if it's not happening, those that are in the market already are going to benefit from it. As you are for those that are in the market, that they take the dividend and put your position. That's my position. Hmm. Well, let's also look at the fact that despite the fact that the market closed on the bearish note with a, a decline of 0.05%, we also see uh, 19 gainers and 14 losers. Help us reconcile these indices. No, for me, that's the niche market. There's no cause for alarm. We saw that we uh, had a huge volume that was driven by a uh, you know, limited uh, uh, pharmacy to about 1% uh, million, million share was traded. As a call in, and at the same time, we saw that the market threat was positive, 19 against 14. Not only that, we saw in the morning that the market stock were up, we saw the stock coming down. Not as a result of what, or not that news coming from all these material markets of the banking, of the financial stability in this market economy. But I believe that, like I said earlier, if at the end of MPC to the, the CBN, Governor, and the CBN to the other state of our bank, that will further boost the financial in the banking sector. And at the same time, because most of these banks have not released the results, there's no cause for alarm. In this market, we saw it's just a series of position taking and profit taking. That's why I said it was the marginal loss about 0 0.09 yesterday. Market was up at the beginning, sharp in the morning. But during the day, you no, know, so that because most of the bank results also uh, bank price too bad. And I think that once that thing back in results and other industry, that will change the face of the market. Mm. For people that are income investors, like I said, take a position for, for we traders who are waiting for a, a correction to pull back that we cannot take. So that's why. Those that are preparing to be done for uh, the, the second half of the, uh, the second quarter of the year, yes, they are preparing by, by, by the end of our training on, on sponsor today to be able to want buy into work into this company and position for the second quarter. There's no cause for alarm, but always keep your eye on the market. You know the big profit and want to jump into the market. These are the two things. Indeed. Well, let's look at the gainers now. On the gainers table, we'll see Access Corporation uh, gaining 7.14% to close at 9 Naira. What would you attribute this gain to? I would say for Access uh, Corp, you know, all eyes on the result of Access. And before now, it is obvious that Access is a leader in terms of uh, growth earnings in that industry. We want to see if that growth earnings also will compare to the good, uh, you know, the good, uh, you know, bottom like PAT. After they were expanded to many African countries, which also what is happening globally are some uh, some African countries that are having issues with their bond, with the uh, monetary policy, with, their, with the World Bank. If that will affect you know, some of these uh, banks that are had operation after the, after the show of Nigeria, if it happens, fine, but I believe that the asset no, number, the way they are going, and what even their position before now should also support their bottom line. I think you just think that asset selling below 
nine naira is our annual average point of the bonus. And that's why we saw a good buying volume yesterday, and the price move up almost as you just said, seven percent. But it's a good one for us. Like I look at that, no matter what is happening around today, what has happened in the first quarter of the of, of, of this of this year, that is also going to impact on the people. No, no, not much, but on back and forth uh, sector and all that that will benefit from it. For me, the better I'm looking at how what will drive this price going to the future, and I'm very sure that we will be joining into an asset. And not only as it, in other parts again, we say that this sector has been most efficient in what we give them in their price will impact, comes you know, an attractive for them to step in. That's why you are seeing by inclusion in those uh, you know, sector in this uh, bank and stuff. And also, they are also have a uh, kind of increase or improve a lot of work. Price to impact, and if you pay higher than what they paid last year, that would be a plus for what for investors to do their parts. Mm. Well, we see QTX and uh, UPL following that same positive trend, closing at 5.69% increase and 5.53% increase respectively. And uh, that's, of course, uh, leading to uh, two Naira uh, stock and also two Naira 10 cobo, that's 2 naira 23 cobo for QTX and 2 naira 10 cobo per share for UPL. How would you describe this positive sentiment? I didn't I did hear you. I didn't hear the name of the company that you mentioned. QTX right now, and UPL. Okay, QTX. Oh, QTX, you know, also, all right, I don't know, QTX is a result. QTX has a history of uh, their financial year end. After the month of January, they believe their are are you know, giving investors an insight to what they respect. For me, they, you know, they look quite like attracting a uh, uh, investor on that top and also ahead of their full year results. Since uh, they break next month is the end of their financial year, they've already taken advantage of uh, the price, you know, the selling now. But for for UPDC, for me, you know, that one's okay. You know, for UPDC, you know that UPDC is selling to, you know, a really ethical business. But then, you know, each and up again, for me, it's also good for the market. But for, for investors, look for those who have the, what it takes to be GPS. And the direction you are investor. For traders, you can trade in this stock once you have a, you know, the sentiment and the direction or the way the, you know, the perception of investor is going. For, for traders, uh, for investors, that they come to the hard fundamental and the hard culture of being a dividend in their history. Uh, you know, that is where it should be. But for we traders, you can trade in this stock because once you have seen potential that will drive the price. But for those that are in, uh, income investors, that's the kind of stock. Money. Mm. Well, let's delve to the other side of the divide where we see WAPIC leading that trend with a decline of 9.52% to close at 38 cobalt. What are your thoughts on this negative sentiment? No, for, for WAPIC, because uh, profit again, WAPIC, I moved to, uh, from uh, you know, around that, uh, that, that age, to almost 46, then selling down my drop profit by, by 2,000 uh, There's no cause for that. Mm. How about that of uh, Ikeja Hotel? We also see Stambik on that table losing 8.52% to close at 36 naira 50 kobo. Yeah, for Ikeja Hotel, I'll say what's market for the For Stambik, it's also market for the board. This is a bank that announced a naira dividend you know, for the final after they have announced the initial one in three months, one naira 50 kobo before now. You know, the result that came from Stambik was fantastic. The top line and the bottom line was fantastic for me. I know investors that uh, understand how to function in this market stock to take advantage of this program to buy, take their dividend and get their food for their first quarter because we've seen that there is a change in this uh, bank performance. If you look at their performance in 2021 and what they did in 2022, there's a big difference. That if that trend is sustained this current financial year, I mean, the price should not be only set below 40 to 45 naira. But those that think that this price now, we can offer for those that are investors, knowing that uh, the share of structure of this bank is like, uh, very small, I think uh, for people who buy, buy at this particular uh, the dividend, I hope it will be a long term investor. But we trade that, we are happy that this can put back later, we can buy an adjustable uh, for trade investors. Not the stock has been very good, but there is no fundamental, and you know you are taking a lot of function, you see that what to drive the price is there. This is why we are paying for that, that I'm going to be easy to price to jump in as we speak now. Mm. Well, let's get your thoughts and uh, predictions for the uh, close of market today. Some analysts have said that the prevailing negative sentiment is expected to linger this week. Again, as we saw last week, as investors would continue to take profit from the tickers that have appreciated, especially in the uh, financial services sector. Let's get your thoughts. Yeah, for me, I expect a, a, a slowdown of the 
profit making activities because more companies are yet to release, uh, release the results. If that can happen, you know, from naturally after the NPC meeting today, I will see positive uh, you know, outcome that will drive the market. The market might close the list today, but for the rest of this week, let's to see what the miss trend. Because once you are seeing better results, market will have to produce results, as I, do, as I said earlier. Yeah. Mm. Well, that, that's a fine place to wrap it up. Thank you so much for the sterling contribution, as always. Ambrose Omodio, Chief Research Officer, Invest Data Consultant Limited. Thanks for having me. Still to come, the CBN had disclosed on its website that it will hold its 290th MPC meeting on Monday 20th and Tuesday 21st at the CBN headquarters in Abuja. But what would be the fallout of this latest meeting going on right now as we speak at the FCT. That would be our next analysis on the show. Don't go anywhere.